millions of Brazilians saw the events of January 6th. And that immediately made a lot of people realize that something like that could happen in Brazil as well, because it happened in a democracy which is, despite all its difficulties, seen in Brazil as one of the most stable democracies in the world. This October, Brazil will head to the polls for an election which pits its current far-right president, Jair Bolsonaro, against its former left-wing president, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva. As Latin America's largest democracy determines its political future, President Bolsonaro, inspired by his friend, former U.S. President Donald Trump, is spreading doubt about the integrity of the upcoming election. American democracy has long served as a model for other countries. But we wanted to know what's at stake in fragile democracies like Brazil's when the United States fails to live up to its example. So I traveled to Sao Paulo to speak with local experts about the upcoming election there and about America's influence on it. O Brasil sempre sofreu influência dos Estados Unidos. A democracia americana é historicamente sólida e sempre foi um exemplo para nós. E nos preocupa qualquer fratura dessa dessa democracia, coisa que tem acontecido ultimamente. E qualquer dificuldade da democracia americana pode repercutir aqui no resto do mundo como pode repercutir no Brasil. Bolsonaro actively projected himself as the Brazilian Trump because Trump had won. Then that allowed voters to imagine what a Bolsonaro victory would look like in a country where somebody like Bolsonaro at that time wasn't expected to win. Some people voted uh, for Bolsonaro because they thought that it, it could be easier to Brazil to have international relations with the United States. I think in Brazil we have some kind of uh, idealistic idea about America. <laughs> you do support Donald Trump? He's a great guy. Yeah. I, I love Donald Trump. We think uh, similar. Os Estados Unidos hoje, eles são um modelo daquilo que a gente é, teria por liberdade para o mundo inteiro e principalmente aqui no Brasil. Donald Trump, Jair Bolsonaro, é, outros líderes mundiais mais voltados à direita, conservadores, eles estão lutando de fato pela liberdade do povo. Isso é o principal fator que deve ser considerado por essas pessoas que acreditam que são uma ameaça para a democracia. Muito pelo contrário, eles são um fortalecimento da democracia. While in town, I caught up with a former student of mine from New York University. He had become a prominent pro-Bolsonaro pundit in the Brazilian media, but he has since converted and wants others to see what he sees in politicians like Jair Bolsonaro and Donald Trump. I think that Bolsonaro, in a way, also appealed to a sense of make Brazil great again. But the Brazil that he probably envisions harks back to the military ears. His main slogan was Brazil acima de tudo. Brazil acima de tudo. And God above all. Deus acima de todos. Sounds a lot like Donald Trump. Indeed. I'll go beyond that. I think Bolsonaro, in large part, rode the coattails from the Trump phenomenon in 2016. He followed the Trump playbook. No ano passado, houve um questionamento muito grande porque havia uma pressão para o Congresso alterar o sistema de votação, justamente talvez por uma influência das eleições americanas. Bolsonaro is copying Donald Trump when he's trying to uh, discredit the electoral process, saying that the voting system is not safe. So I think it's a way to inhibit, to take part of the democratic system. I think one of the key takeaways for Bolsonaro was that this doesn't work if you don't have the army on your side. And he has really gone out of his way to co-opt the armed forces in a way that Trump just never was able to do. There was never any doubt whether the armed forces would uh, embark on an authoritarian experiment in the United States, whereas here that, that, uh, that doubt is, uh, is real. I think that is dangerous underestimate uh, Donald Trump or Bolsonaro. 
because Bolsonaro, he prospers in a chaotic environment and sowing the, the seeds of distrust within the Brazilian society, Brazilian fabric. If Bolsonaro eventually loses, I simply cannot fathom, I cannot envision in any scenario the image of Jair Bolsonaro transmitting the presidential sash onto Lula, Moro, Ciro Gomes, or whoever might eventually emerge victorious. So I would anticipate, uh, unfortunately, uh, scenes of violence unraveling on Brazil's major cities. I think that the near-death experience of US democracy actually provides the US government today with much more legitimacy to actually sit down with other countries and say, you know, let's talk about our problems. Perhaps there's something, you know, in Brazil or in Chile or some other country which can be implemented in, uh, in the United States. As Brazilians head to the polls, the events of January 6th might serve as a cautionary reminder of the fragility of democracy. President Biden frequently invokes the power of America's example. And while Brazil's election is primarily driven by that country's own political concerns and aspirations, America's example will continue to be a powerful, if an increasingly mixed, factor. <laughs>